everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I'm sure you can hear the smile on my face right now. I am super excited. Uh, I, I know there's been quite a few C8 videos that have come out in the last couple of days, but this one is brand spanking new information, and it's not just information, it's actual pictures of the inside of this brand new C8 mid-engine Corvette. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank you for hitting that play button. Welcome you to the Brink of Speed community if you are a new subscriber. If you're not a part of this great community, make sure and smash that red subscribe button and the bell button next to it so that you're notified when my new content comes out. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I love seeing a bunch of thumbs up on my videos. Next thing that I want to do is I want to thank a couple of uh, uh, websites. Number one is the Mid Engine Corvette Forum for supplying me with these beautiful pictures of the interior. And number two for carscoops.com for actually getting the pictures. He always does an excellent job of uh, getting these awesome pictures taken, and he does a very good job of renders. Uh, of this C8 mid-engine Corvette. And then the last thing that I want to say before we get started is I will have a very important question that I ask everyone at the end of this video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. It will be somewhere at the end. I'm not going to tell you where. I would love it if you watch this entire video. So stay tuned. I've got a very important question for everyone. So guys, I'm super excited about this and I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Let's go ahead and jump right into looking at these photos that were taken of the new Chevrolet C8 mid-engine Corvette. So let's start with this first one here. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to tell me what you see that makes you excited about these photos and in these photos. And I'll tell you what I see that gets me excited. If you look at the seats in this photo, it gets me very excited because they look like they've actually gone to great lengths to make these seats have huge bolsters on them and shaped more like a uh, racing type bucket seat that really holds you into place you know, while you're driving at high speeds on the track. And it also makes me super excited because if you take a look at the different types of materials, you'll see that there is a difference between some of the materials. And then if you take a look at the stitching, the stitching is gorgeous. You got this red stitching throughout the entire seat, which also really makes the seat pop. And speaking of making things pop, take a look at that center console where your armrest is and obviously, um, you know, where a few controls are. And I'll tell you one thing, the person who drew this from getting to see the inside quite a while ago did an excellent job. Uh, looks like there are cup holders there in the center. You've got your... Uh, regular center console that you can open up and there's probably you know a little bit of room in there to store things and then let's let's go to the next picture this one actually zooms in a little bit on the actual infotainment system controller and it looks completely different than the one that we have in our current c7 cars if you look to the right of that you'll also see uh, the heated seats, the cooled seats. It also has, you know, all of the climate control settings up there on that center console. And then we go to the left of the infotainment center control, and you'll see there that this is a totally different transmission. It reminds me of a lot of the nowadays modern car transmissions where you don't have a lever that you have to pull back to drive and reverse and all that kind of stuff. You just press buttons. And this particular one looks a lot like something that you would see in a Lamborghini. If you look just above that, it kind of looks like 
maybe traction control, a rear, a rear trunk button, uh, and some other things I you can't see because the steering wheel's in the way. Now let's look at this picture. It is a close up of the steering wheel. And I know it's a little bit difficult to see things here, but what it looks like to me is that you've got cruise control settings on the left side of the steering wheel. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your phone settings and then your radio settings uh, with that right side of the wheel. Also, the paddle shifters look quite a bit different. And we're gonna uh, take a look at a different picture that zooms in a little bit more on the paddle shifters. So they look quite a bit taller and a little bit wider than the uh, C7 paddle shifters. And then something that'll grab your eyes right away is right behind the steering wheel, you see this giant infotainment system screen, which looks quite a bit bigger than the eight inch screen that's in the current C7 car. And it looks like it's protruding out from the dash instead of uh, recessed back in the dash. Also, if we go back to the close up of the steering wheel, you'll notice that the logo, uh, you know, the Corvette symbol with the flag on one side and the Chevy symbol on the other side looks very similar to the C7 logo. So it's not much different, in my opinion, than that logo. Now, moving on to the next picture, this is a little bit better uh, close up of the infotainment system behind the steering wheel and also a longer picture of the actual center console. And one thing that I noticed right away about the center console is that the whole thing is like leather and it looks super classy and super upscale compared to the one that's in the cars now where it looks like, you know, 100% of it's plastic and there's leather on the outsides of it, but not any on the inside really, uh, except for your armrest. And so a lot of these pictures that I'm showing you are getting me super excited because as you've seen in previous videos of mine, I've talked about how I wish that GM would upgrade the interiors of these Corvettes big time. And this should be the base model Corvette and it already looks amazing on the inside. Let me know if you guys notice anything else about the interior that I missed. Uh, I looked over it very thoroughly. I'm so excited about this though that I probably missed some things that other people are gonna see. So let me know what I missed. So the next thing that I want to talk about is things that we don't know about the car. And the first thing that we don't know is exactly what this car is going to look like. But I'm going to put the latest renders up here, as you can see. And you tell me if you like these and if you truly believe that this car is going to look just like these renders. I personally think it looks amazing from these renders. The next thing that we do not know is when this car will be revealed. And I'm sure you've seen Seagarner Speed 252's video and also um, there's some stuff on the Corvette forum where uh, Zerv1 talks about that this car re will be revealed at the Detroit Auto Show after all these people saying that it wasn't going to, now he's saying it's going to be revealed starting the 14th of this month. So that's a little bit interesting. The next thing that we don't know is how much this car will cost. Uh, in my last C8 video, we talked about how Bob Lutz from GM, the ex-chairman, he talked about how it would probably be only 5,000 more than a base model C7. And so... Uh, we have that to go off of, but we still don't know for sure what the cost is going to be. We also don't know how many models we're going to get. Uh, there's people talking about three models, four models, five models. We really don't know how many models of this car we're going to get. Uh, we also don't know how many engine options there will be. We've uh, obviously heard talks about the uh, LT1 6.2 liter V8 that is in the current C7 base model Corvette. And right now it has 460 horsepower. They're talking about upping that power, but we don't know. 
We've also heard talks about a twin turbo 4.2 liter V8 from Cadillac that could be in one of the uh, higher end models and produce, you know, very high horsepower. And then we don't, we also don't know if there's going to be a V6 engine in these models because after people saw the C8R out on the track, a lot of people are saying that there is a V6 uh, engine in this car. And actually, GM does make a twin turbo V6. It's a 3.6 liter. And uh, as you can see in this picture. And then we don't know how many horsepower will be in any of the models. Right now, the guesses that are out there are, uh, you know, around 520 for the base, uh, a little over 600 for the next model up, and then the best model being around 1,000. So I told you guys in the very beginning that I had a very important question to ask you at the very end of this video. And the question is, out of all these things that I went over, do any of you guys know true facts about these? And if so, can you privately email me at brinkofspeed at gmail.com and send me some proof about some of these things that we talked about. That would be awesome. I could keep you anonymous. I would make a video about it just to get more information out there. If you're gonna get in trouble for giving me this information, don't do it. But if you can get by with giving me this information, I would love to have it and get it out there on YouTube and be one of the first channels to talk about it. And guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved those inside pictures, please smash that thumbs up button. Make sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell button if you already haven't joined the Brink of Speed community. And I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you out on the road.